Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, today I am here to talk to you about your skin. Embrace your skin. There is only one of you. I really want to try and recapture this because I tried to recapture it in a product review for a number seven men energizing moisturizer and having thought about it, I'm not quite sure I captivated the message I wanted to purvey. Um correctly as to speak so what i've been thinking about for a long time recently is of course we all live in a world where everybody is very appearance conscious and it the sight of anything which is considered not particularly ideal or not necessarily normal for a certain idea of uh, age group or as somebody may get a little bit older with fine lines and wrinkles they may feel they have to do something about it what I really want to try and address is that whether you are a young person and whether you suffer with dull skin, sort of uh, real sallow skin, whether really dark eyes, or maybe you suffer with um, skin conditions, whether you have sort of eczema uh, or anything sort of like um, psoriasis or anything like that at all, or perhaps you may have acne or perhaps you may have acne scars, or you may have other things with your skin which affects your confidence. So then the opposite end of the spectrum where somebody may be concerned with their skin because perhaps they used to enjoy their sun a lot when they were younger, perhaps they never used to look after their skin very much, and perhaps they are now starting to experience fine lines and wrinkles, and they are experiencing this much more possibly than before they would have thought they would have because of sun damage and photoaging, that type of thing. Or perhaps going further up the scale, somebody may be concerned with aging and kind of feeling, do I, don't I type thing. So my whole message is, and I know this is much, much easier than what, what it actually is, but is that you should embrace yourself. You should embrace your own skin. Okay. Now hear me out and think about this. I have two hearing aids, so I know what I'm talking about. I've had problems with different things which affect my confidence. May not be skin. Okay. I've had eczema and things like this and trouble sort of problems like that, and which have caused me issues before. Um, but hear me out because when something affects your confidence, such as wearing two hearing aids, and yet you're having to depend on that, you have no control. You have to wear it. So you have to deal with it. You have to affect your confidence. So what I'm saying is your skin is you. There is nothing you can do about it. It is you. And what I really want to try and get that across there is whether it is not in your eyes what you want it to be or perfect as to speak. It is you and you are amazing and you are a blessing. So embrace this love of what this life gives you and think actually that if it's acne you're dealing with, it's your own experience of acne. It's yours. So therefore, it's amazing. There are products, there are regimes and things you can use to improve that and to help that. But don't be forced into it. If you want to walk out and you want to look how you want to, whether that be in a certain style, whether that be a hairstyle, people look and frown upon that. But skin is you. It's the very you. So don't never, ever let anybody make you feel bad about whatever's going on, because number one, it's none of nobody else's business. And number two, it is you. And like I've said, you are a gift. You are a blessing. You are amazing. If somebody wants to do something about it, for example, if they're dealing with aging skin, fine lines, wrinkles, then great. Perhaps somebody might like to go and speak to somebody about having something done. There are loads of all different products out there, procedures, whatever, to have something done. Great. But what annoys me about society is that it's almost like the society is turning into a conveyor belt that if you're a young person, you've got problems with acne or you've got problems with psoriasis or eczema, you must do this and you must look like this. Or if on this end of the spectrum, somebody is a little bit older or they are sort of showing signs of fine lines and wrinkles and yet they must do this. Almost like society has you already on this conveyor belt that when you hit a certain stage or when you start experiencing something, you must do this. And that's what I'm actually here trying to say, that actually you are you, you are an individual, you're a blessing, you're a gift, you're amazing. It's your acne, it's your fine lines and wrinkles, it's your eczema, it's your whatever. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you're going through, never feel like you have to do something. Never feel like somebody is making you feel down because they've they've 
given you a comment or they've passed you a comment which has made you feel rubbish. It's their problem, not yours. You are you and whatever you choose to do is entirely up to you. Somebody who feels confident yet they may suffer with quite really severe acne, good on them, amazing to them, absolutely good achievement because ultimately you are you, you are incredible. And you know what? Most things like that will pass. So actually, you're just going to get stronger and stronger. Somebody wants to do something about it. Absolutely. There's a whole host of different products out there and things which can help and advise. It should never be looked upon that somebody must do something. It's like if somebody's got severe um, eczema or psoriasis or anything like that at all. Yes, it can affect people's confidence. I've had friends and things with that. Absolutely. Yes, I certainly have. And I've really seen the effect that can that can have on someone, even my own niece has, I can see the effect that has on somebody. But it's almost like that if you do something, it has to be for you. It shouldn't be that society and people around you pressurise you into doing something. So what I'm saying is, especially if it's issues which are almost like through choices. So for example, if you know that your diet's bad, if you know that you're not necessarily looking after yourself, looking after your skin, and of course you have a choice, but if you don't want to do anything about that choice, then of course that's your own provocative and you shouldn't necessarily be made to feel that you should fit in like everybody else should do on this sort of conveyor belt in society. Everybody's an individual, everybody's a blessing, everyone's amazing. And it's your skin, embrace it. So whatever your issue is, it's your issue, it's your issue to deal with and when you're ready, you can perhaps deal with it if you want to. If you don't want to and you're dealing with it through other other ways and you're just accepting it because of course acceptance is a way of dealing with something as well in that case amazing the strength you have that ability to be able to accept something absolutely amazing brilliant if somebody feels really pressured that they have to start doing something perhaps about fine lines and wrinkles or in their 40s 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s hundreds no no not at all Slam the door in society's face and actually you are you, you're a blessing, you're amazing, you're you. Embrace it. Your skin is you. And whatever you've gone through, if you're going through ill health or you're going through a time in your life which is stressful, I know that happens to me with different health problems and things in the background. Your skin can often look quite sallow, your skin can often look quite pale, you can look dark around the eyes. And I've actually had a comment by, uh, put to me, um, I can't quite remember the sort of the way of which it was, but it was pointing out that I looked like I hadn't slept. And I thought to myself, wow, do you know what? that was a really bold move for you and quite a disgusting one. You don't know what I've been through, you don't know what's going on with me. I'm actually stood at work here, I'm ready to take on the day, I am doing this, I'm doing this whole thing, I'm doing this, I'm really pulling myself up, I'm getting myself ready, and I'm taking one step at a time in this life. Something horrific is going on in the background, but yet you've passed that to me, you've passed that comment to me, my skin, embrace it, do you know what I mean? Absolutely, I thought I looked pretty good on the day. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is whatever is going on, it's your life, it's your skin, and that's sort of like a bit of a, a play on words, isn't it? That, it doesn't just have to be skin, it can be anything on our bodies. It is no one else's business to make you feel at unease or uncomfortable or out of place or nobody should ever call anybody out for anything. You are who you are. And that's why after doing that clip on reviewing a energizing moisture product for number seven for men, I really wanted to kind of get that message across and sort of put it out there that actually that skincare is important, hair care is important, it's an interest of mine. It's not the it's not the be all and end all, is it, type thing. It doesn't have to mean everything at all. You could just use one product your whole life. It's you, your life. Amazing. Great. What a blessing. Fantastic. Somebody wants to do something every single day of the week using a different product. It's their skin, it's their hair, it's their life, their body. None of no one else's business. Do you see what I'm getting at? Society has this conveyor belt that if something crops up or something changes or we're experiencing something in life, we must do this, we must do that, we must act on this, we must use this. No, you don't. Find what works for you, ultimately. And at the end of the day, embrace you. Thanks very much. And until next time, God bless you, and I'll be with you real soon. Bye for now.